Elon confirmed that it is not V14 because he said, hey, it's great that guy enjoyed it and thought it was really tremendous, but by the way, you ain't seen nothing yet. That isn't V14. Also, by the way, V14 is going to seem like it's sentient. So what I thought I would do here, let's ask Grok what Elon probably means by that. Hey, Grok, I've got a question for you. Shoot, what's your question? I'm all ears, or rather, all text. Today on X, Elon Musk made a reply or a comment to somebody's post regarding Tesla FSD version 14 and that it was going to seem sentient. What does Elon mean by Tesla FSD version 14 seeming sentient? When Elon Musk says Tesla's full self-driving version 14 feels sentient, he's describing how the system's driving behavior seems so human-like that it almost feels alive or aware. He's hyping up its ability to navigate roads in a way that mimics human decision-making, making it seem intuitive and responsive, as opposed to the more robotic feel of earlier versions or competitors like Waymo. For example, in response to a William Blair analyst praising Tesla's robo-taxi for driving like a person, Musk noted that version 14, which is still in training, will take that human-like performance to another level with a 10 times higher parameter count for better real-world understanding. He's basically saying it'll feel like the car's got a mind of its own, even though it's still just advanced AI crunching data. So what does it mean that it's going to feel like it's got a mind of its own? I want more specifics. Like in a daily driving environment that someone's going to encounter, on our city streets, highways, sub suburbs, country roads. What exactly do you mean feels like humans? Give me some examples. When I say Tesla's FSD version 14 will feel like it's got a mind of its own, I mean its decision-making will feel so natural and adaptive that it'll seem like a human driver who anticipates and reacts to real-world situations with nuance. Here are specific examples of how this might play out in daily driving across different environments. On city streets, imagine you're in a busy downtown area with pedestrians, cyclists, and cars everywhere. FSD version 14 might smoothly slow down when a group of people lingers near a crosswalk, not just stopping abruptly like older systems, but easing off the accelerator as a cautious human would, reading body language like someone glancing to cross. If a delivery truck double parks, it could patiently wait or gently nudge around it, mirroring how an experienced driver gauges the situation. On highways, picture merging onto a crowded interstate. Instead of rigidly sticking to a preset lane change, FSD 14 might time its merge by matching the flow of traffic, accelerating or decelerating to slip into a gap, like a human who's eyeing the rhythm of other cars. If a semi drifts slightly into your lane, it could subtly adjust its position within the lane, not just slamming on brakes, but reacting with the finesse of someone who's driven for years. In suburbs, say you're on a residential street with kids playing nearby. FSD 14 might proactively reduce speed when it spots a ball rolling across the road, anticipating a child might follow, much like a parent would instinctively slow down. At a four-way stop, it could handle ambiguous situations, like when another driver hesitates by creeping forward or pausing, mimicking the polite negotiation humans do without honking or rushing. On country roads, imagine a winding narrow road with no lane markings. FSD 14 might hug the right side when it detects an oncoming car around a curve, adjusting dynamically based on the road's shape and obstacles like a seasoned rural driver. If a deer darts across, it could break or swerve with the kind of split-second judgment that feels less like a pre-programmed response and more like an intuitive reaction. What makes it feel human is how it processes tons of real-time data, cameras picking up subtle cues like a pedestrian's glance or a car's slight drift and responds with decisions that aren't just rule-based, but contextually aware, blending prediction and smoothness. Musk's claim about a tenfold increase in parameters means the AI's neural net can better interpret chaotic real-world scenarios, making its actions feel less mechanical and more like a thinking driver who's been around the block. It's not sentient, but it's so good it might fool you into wondering. Couple of follow-ups there. So talking about almost human, feeling almost human, 
One of the things that I notice right now with the FSD version I'm on, which is 13.2.9, is it is very, very smooth. In almost all scenarios, it does a tremendous job and essentially does all of my Uber drives from point A to point B without intervention. However, there are times where it does things that would not be considered a critical issue, but that just could get better at. So for instance, potholes. It is still hit or miss when it comes to pothole avoidance. And in certain cases, false positives. Just on this drive, I had a false positive where FSD saw a very dark black tire mark in the middle of the road and put on the brakes abruptly thinking that it might be an object on the in the road whereas a human knows that is just a tire track what do you think that version 14 is going to do in those scenarios with potholes objects in the road and the false positive issues i was talking about with fsd version 14 you're likely to see noticeable improvements in pothole avoidance object detection, and reducing false positives based on what's been teased about its capabilities. Let's break it down for the scenarios you mentioned. For pothole avoidance, version 14 is expected to finally deliver on a long-promised feature where the system actively detects and steers around potholes. Unlike version 13.2.9, which you've noticed can be hit or miss, version 14's neural network with its tenfold parameter increase should better process visual data from cameras to identify potholes more accurately. For example, on a city street or suburban road, it might spot a pothole's distinct shape or shadow and smoothly adjust its path, say, shifting slightly within the lane while maintaining a natural driving flow, much like a human who sees the pothole early and casually avoids it. This should mean fewer jarring bumps and less wear on your tires. When it comes to objects in the road, version 14's enhanced object detection, driven by improved algorithms and higher resolution video inputs, should make it better at distinguishing real obstacles from false positives like that dark tire mark you mentioned. In your case, the AI might cross-reference the tire mark's flat, consistent texture against its training data and recognize it as part of the road surface, avoiding the abrupt braking you experienced. For actual objects, say, a piece of debris or a fallen branch, it could react more like a human, slowing down gradually or changing lanes if safe rather than overreacting. The system's ability to process 36 Hz full resolution AI4 video inputs should help it pick up finer details, reducing those moments where it misinterprets shadows or markings. As for false positives, version 14's massive jump in parameter count and better video compression should help the AI better understand edge cases. That tire mark incident, the system's deeper contextual awareness might let it reason their hatch in the middle of a clear road with no 3D profile or movement isn't a threat, so it keeps cruising smoothly. This human-like nuance should cut down on those abrupt, unnecessary stops that pull you out of the otherwise seamless experience you're getting on 13.2.9. Overall, version 14's advancements, like 4.2x data scaling and a redesigned controller for smoother tracking, should make it feel like the car's anticipating and reacting to these scenarios with the kind of savvy you'd expect from a careful, experienced driver you'll likely notice fewer jolts from potholes and less over-caution around harmless road features, making your Uber drives even closer to that sentient vibe Musk is talking about. Excellent. Hey, one last question for you, Grok. Speaking of things I would love to see FSD get better at is, from a personal perspective, my home driveway, for some reason, FSD will do great 99.99999% of the day and go up into other people's driveways when I'm picking them up for Uber rides. But for some reason, FSD does not like my driveway. And I will say there's a big six to nine inch hump at the beginning of the driveway but it's just a hump and it's no bigger than a bunch of the speed bumps that FSD handles all day long. When will FSD be able to drive up into my driveway for me? Sounds like that driveway hump is giving FSD a bit of a headache. With your Tesla running FSD version 13.2.9, 
it's already handling complex Uber pickups well, but your specific issue with the six to nine inch hump at your driveway entrance seems to be a sticking point. Here's the deal on when FSD, particularly version 14, Oop, looks like my connectivity's going out. Rex, can you hear me? Whoops, my bad, I got a little lost there. So, you were saying, FSD struggles with that six to nine inch hump in your driveway, even though it handles similar speed bumps fine. With FSD version 14, the improved neural net and higher resolution video processing should help it better recognize and navigate unique driveway features like yours. It'll likely treat that hump more like a speed bump, adjusting speed and steering smoothly based on its shape and height, instead of hesitating or stalling. Given its tenfold parameter boost, it should learn from edge cases like your driveway faster, especially if you're on private property where FSD's new light off-road capabilities might kick in. You could see it mastering your driveway in version 14 or soon after, especially as Tesla rolls out updates based on user data. Got any other quirks with that driveway it's tripping over? Nope, I'm actually coming up to my driveway right now. So we are about to see real time if it wants to handle my driveway. Putting on the blinker. Come on. All right, moment of truth. You're pulling up to that driveway with the big... Rex, it did it! All right, I feel ya. Let's see if FSD steps up to the plate. So, you're turning on the blinker, pulling up to that driveway with a six to nine inch hump. Fingers crossed, it handles it like a pro this time. With version 13.2.9, it might still be iffy. No, it did it. Rex, did you hear me? Uh, I don't think Rex is working as well in Porter, Texas tonight. Connection error occurred. Yep. Yeah, that's some of the issues that we have is network connectivity sometimes. And it is 9 o'clock at night. Something tells me the a lot of folks are out there doing those Grok Imagine videos. So maybe the server's getting uh, overloaded. But yeah, that's awesome. There I was talking to Grok about my driveway and it came up here perfect.